Well, a very good morning to you. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. Thank you for keeping it a uh, 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 power talk. This is where we give you as it is concerning matters, relationships, social issues, matters concerning your life and your affairs. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Ensure that you engage with us both online and from wherever you are watching us from. My name is Ram Maguko. As always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Thursday. Uh, uh, today, a repeat of this program also airs at 10 p.m. So in, if at all you would like to catch a glimpse of this again tonight, we will be coming to you on your station from the comfort of your living room at 10 p.m. This is Power Talk. And this morning, we are talking about insecurities in relationships. How do you deal with an insecure partner? How should you deal or how can you, how do you deal with an insecure partner? That issue that bugs them day in, day out, that is their fear, is their insecurities. How do you handle them when they feel afraid, when they feel like they don't trust you? It, is it something that happened in the past? How best can you deal with such scenarios? We are talking about insecurities in relationships. And joining me to understand this and to uncover more about this, I'm joined to my extreme uh, left. I'm joined by Reverend Evans Kocho. He is a pastor, a counselor, and a mentor. He is also a conference speaker. Karibu sana Kasisi. Thank you. Thank you for, 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 for this conversation. It's a pleasure having you for the first time. Thank you. I <laughs> hope you're well. I'm well. Wonderful. Good. I'm also joined next to me. Uh, you know her. You've, we've been with her uh, plenty of times. She has shared her story right here. So if you don't, if you didn't watch her story, head over to YouTube uh, on our channel, White Wolf Channel, and get to see her story. She is Emma and Jerry, an actress and a motivational speaker. Karibu sana, Emma. Asante sana. Yeah, thank you for finding time. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Today you're, you're glowing. We want to just give, keep you updated in regards to the things that are uh, pertaining relationships. Ensure that you engage with us on our social media platforms. The hashtag is uh, Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Maguko at Y254 Channel. There you can find us head over to facebook we've posted a question there how do you deal with an insecure partner uh on facebook y254 drop in your comments on the comments the comments section below and we shall sample your feedback as we continue with this morning broadcast power talk starts now now transit yes we know insecurities are always there especially for women let me give examples <laughs> you want that flat tummy some ladies don't normally ask this question, am I fat? And if at all, men, you've been in that position, you've been asked that question, and then you say yes, you know very well things do not end well for you. How do you deal with an insecure partner from the perspective of a woman? Okay, um, thank you so much, Ram. And uh, you know this is so timely. Uh, last weekend I was in a, in a women's retreat for three days, and actually these were the matters we were talking about. So even when uh, you gave me a call, I said, I was like, Iconi Ram is reading through my head or something. <laughs> Maybe God and is uh, yeah, <laughs> these are matters that are happening every day. Mm -hmm. And I believe we have been seeing things in the news where couples are killing each other. This is a so this is a cause of people killing yeah, insecurities. Mm -hmm. I think we have a, re a very recent case of that man from Kiambu. I think yeah. from Kiambu who Killed the wife, the wife killed and, and killed himself. These these are the reasons why people do that or people get to the, to those extents. And um, insecurities in relationships are real and they are happening. Yeah, uh, I have been in that shoe before, and I will never want to go back there again mm -hmm. because it's not a good experience. Yeah, because uh, the moment you start having insecurity in your relationship or in your marriage, that automatically takes away trust automatically it takes away the joy of that marriage or the joy of that relationship because you start having doubts. Actually, when I was thinking about this topic, it's a, it's a state of mind. Mm. It's something that is conceived in the mind. 
So I wake up in the morning, I look at myself, I start comparing myself with other people. As I have said an example, mm. I feel like I don't have a flat tummy. Myself, I don't have a, t a flat tummy. But the point is, do I love myself the way I am? So is it a, is, is, is it a state of mind? It actually, from, it from starts from say? a personal, it's a personal thing. It starts from you. For example, Ram, if I have a problem with you, you might not be the problem. I might be the problem. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the first thing is, for example, why am I feeling insecure in my relationship or in my, in my marriage? Is it because I am triggered by how I look physically? For example, uh, I look at myself, I am tall, maybe I wear a shoe 42, maybe I have a, I have a tummy, maybe I don't have that size 8 body. Mm. And yet my partner or my husband, maybe the colleagues, they have all we call, maybe they have all that we can call good qualities. Let's <laughs> say they have flat tummies, you uh. know, they have that figure 8, they are light skins, they have nice nails. So, I, so it's something that I can, I can develop by myself. Mm -hmm. And it is coming from a point of, Am I not appreciating who I am or where I am? Because I believe if I love myself who, uh, for who I am, mm. I will never ever feel inferior. No matter where my partner goes, no matter who they work with, no matter who they interact with. As long as I love myself, I love me. And I will not compare myself to anyone. Mm -hmm. That you. one will help me a lot as, a, as an individual. So you, 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 you're highlighting as we start that uh, it's all about self-love. Yes, and, appreciate uh, yourself. So, and and when you don't, we are talking about self doubt. Yes. Now, 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 when you start doubting yourself, mm. it becomes another story. Uh, Evans, I, I, I want you to give us your take, opening remarks. Um, maybe uh, you can tell us whether you agree with what uh, Emma is saying. But at the same time, um, how can you tell when you are dating someone that this person is insecure? What are some of these signs of insecurities? What are these things that when you look into, you can be able to tell that, no, my problem is not that I left the, the, toilet, seat, the toilet seat up. Mm. My problem is not that I did not flush the toilet that made us fight. My problem is something else. That's mm. an example. What are the, some of these signs? Well, thank you, Ram, for calling me in to this uh, very important conversation. I think uh, it's a timely thing and um, one thing I learned is that uh, it's not a strange thing today. Mm. Insecurity has been there from the days of the Bible, from the beginning, the first death ever in the Bible occurred because of insecurity. Sure. You're talking about the story, the story of uh, Cain and Abel. Yeah. Yeah, it was a sense of insecurity. Insecurity. Mm -hmm. Because okay. this, these people are coming to present themselves before the Lord. And, you know, God is a just God. He'll just be plain and truthful and honest with you. Mm. Uh, God accepted uh, Abel's offering and uh, Cain felt offended. What was the next thing? Cain was seeing that, uh, okay, this man is preferred over myself. So the next thing was death. So insecurity has been there. And uh, I want to agree with my sister, Jerry, that uh, it begins with uh, how you feel about yourself. Actually, I look at this this way. It is 70% imagination or illusion mm -hmm. and 30% what attacks your confidence. So most of it is just imagination. In this imagination. In Some of these things are not true things. Some of these things are just imaginations in our mind. What <laughs> it begins with how I think about myself. Mm -hmm. When I think wrongly about myself, I will never think rightly about others. Okay. When okay. I have a negative thought about myself, I will never speak anything negative. Now, looking at uh, how do you tell somebody who is insecure? One, they have issues with the trust, as uh, uh, Jerry said. Mm. They'll never trust. So they are very toxic people. They never say anything positive. They have a lot of things they can look in you and the only answer they come out with is negative thing. They're mm. very toxic. And the three, they are also very judgmental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they look at you, they can define you with how you look and they say this one is going nowhere. This one can never <laughs> try anything and, can, uh, and work.
Uh, yeah. Most of these people who normally say that uh, he is a canny, most, yeah. yeah, uh, most of it comes from their own sense of oh, insecurity. You share, oh, I'm thinking of starting this business, Uber business. You say, ah, oh, drop that one. It can't work. Ask me. To them, they believe something that never worked for them cannot work for, for anyone. That's true. Yeah. Mm. To them, you agree with that, Emma? Yeah, I agree okay. 100%. Mm. They mm. believe if a relationship never worked in their lives, they believe it cannot work for anyone. No man, uh, no, no, this thing that, uh, I, I know it has its own origin, yeah. this comment that men are dogs, and I, I know it came from, from someone, <laughs> somewhere, and it, it, it spreaded like a, uh, a bushfire. Yeah. It, 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 could it be, uh, uh, could it have origi originated from someone's own self-doubt uh, self and sense, sense of insecurity? I think when you talk about, um, uh, I, saw, I saw a certain, um, I know we love memes, we love looking at memes. Yeah. And someone had said, like, just the way you have said it, that men are dogs. Mm. Then then they posted a picture of so many dogs. Then then the person wrote up there, kindly show me your father in this picture. I know it was no, a very yeah. rude statement, yeah. but it's the truth. <laughs> because if, you know, when I say men are dogs, that so means right. I am including everybody. Someone someone made a post that all men are dogs. Yes. And then uh, the another one person posted a, a picture of so many dogs. Show me dogs. your father. <laughs> then now show me. Okay, I know this one might come out very rudely, uh, but it's the truth of the matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the moment you, you, you call, for example, I, I have heard men say something about Kikuyu women. Mm. You get yeah. so we have that mentality. So we, we have that mentality about a certain, like certain people. Like mm. if I hear about Ram, where is he from? He's from that other side of the country. So mm. there is that picture that comes with with with, with calling your like yeah, where yeah. you mention your name. Mm. And uh, you know, we, we we went to some place for a for a for a conference, and we were told when you're introducing yourself, only use your first name. Mm. So we were like, my name is Emma. Mm. My name is Ram. My name is Evans. And everybody was interacting very well. Before we went for lunch, mm. they said, can you introduce yourself with two names? I'm Emma and Jerry. Mm. I'm so and so. Mm. By the end of that lunch, you would find some people from the same tribe <laughs> sitting together. You get. Because mm. we have that mentality. Yeah. So don't include everybody in, in your problems. Yeah. For example, mm. uh, I was watching a someone by, uh, is it to DJX? And, she, and he was saying, I even if you're married for let's say like 30 years, you're still not qualified to talk to me about marriage mm. because that is your marriage. Mm -hmm. I am not marrying your partner. So the way you handle issues in your marriage and your relationship mm. will not, might, might not work for me. Exactly. Now, um, I, 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 I would like you to engage with us from home. Tell us, is it a self, uh, uh, an issue of selfness, selfness inside you, self-doubt, self-love? Mm. Is it a state of mind? That yeah. insecurity mm -hmm. is it a, a more of a mental issue or an emotional issue than it a fact-based issue? The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter. Head over to Facebook Y254 channel at Ramaguko and at Y254 is where you can find us. Comment there. Head over to Facebook. We've posted a question there on our Facebook page on Y254. Drop it uh, your comments at the comment section. We shall sample your feedback. And I, I want us to find ab ab about this just on the get go. You know, jujutu, just mm. on a, uh, 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 on the level, is being insecure no more. Because you've said that it is uh, a state of mind. It's an emotional issue. Is it normal? Or is it something that someone, who, if you're insecure, people will tell you to go to a psychiatrist? Actually, personally, I can define it as a, as a, as a mental problem. So it's not normal to be insecure? It's not normal. Because look at, you know, you know, Ram, everything has pros and cons. So anytime you do something, how will it bounce back to you? For example, I have a partner and I am having security to that partner. That means immediately or automatically my trust towards my partner has already been broken. Uh, Number two, it mm. will take away my joy of that relationship. So, so, so now, for, for what women do, outside there who feel like they have an issue with their body weight, their body size, their body shape, that sense of insecurity, it is not normal. Deal with your problem. Deal with yourself. Because mm. I have to accept who I am. And Ram, even the Bible says, like, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So it starts from here. It starts from me, loving myself. I cannot lie to you that I love you if I don't love myself. Uh -huh. It will be a lie. 
it's abnormal because it's a killer disease. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Nobody it's a, it's a, it's a disease. Yes. Yeah. Nobody kills in his right senses. Now, um, look at it from the Bible. I, I love giving biblical example. Mm. Saul is a king with all power, military, call it, all things at his disposal. Mm. But this man is fighting a 17 years old young man by the name David. A man who was only but anointed to handle a situation in his life. Mm. The man, the young man is busy singing to the king while this, the king is busy trying to pinpoint him on the wall, the javelin. It's not normal. It begins with uh, beginning to think abnormally about myself. Mm. Beginning to suffer from what I call self-inadequacy. Mm -hmm. You don't appreciate who you are. David was never concerned about the monarch of Saul or the position. He was not concerned. He was just but a young man, anointed and graced to deal with the condition that was affecting the king. That was his focus. But now this man is thinking another thing. It's not a normal thing. Actually what uh, Njeri said is, is, a, is, a, is a mental case. Because you develop something weird about yourself. Let me give you an example. I, I had this experience and I know my wife is watching. After our marriage, mm. uh, my wife is a very good cook. I know how you know that. Yeah, she, yeah. She's your sister. I, 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 I've tasted her meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know, to, according to me, I thought it's just okay. The way yeah. I will consume that meal and, you know, I enjoy it. Mm. She'll just be okay and know that, you know, I enjoy the meal. Yeah. So I didn't see any need of really appreciating. You know, we were learning from each other. <laughs> you, you, you didn't we were say, growing together. You didn't say thank you. Or, yeah, or, or I didn't say thank you. Like I thought maybe from the way I'm consuming it and I'm enjoying it, she'll just see and say, oh, he loves it. Mm. But now visiting another friend, actually this friend uh, didn't cook well, but you know, I wanted to appreciate just to make them feel great. <laughs> so <laughs> I would say, oh, that was a nice Kenyaji, that was a nice uh, cuckoo. So I would uh, really... And your wife was there. Yeah, yeah. I'll see she her heard you. Watching <laughs> me sarcastically and like, Utani ona nyubani. Did it later, cause problems? Let, yes. Later she was feeling bad. I'm cooking all this thing, I cook so nice. What was that you are eating and you appreciate it? Yet in this house, all this time you have never appreciated. Even my hot water you have never appreciated. Ata majimoto ni mipika. Nabirinakua na iboil vizuri. Nabirinakua na iboil vizuri. And you see, that, yeah. that's yet another, an, another e e example, yeah? yeah. Um, when someone doesn't compliment you, yeah. when someone doesn't recognize the cloth you, 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 you've just uh, worn, and for, for some ladies they will come and, uh, and uh, you know, utona anapita tumbele yako tukila wakati. Not that she's doing anything, but she just keeps passing <laughs> in front of you for you to notice the dress that she just, uh, you know, bought, the hairstyle that she just, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, gotten, the, that new phone that maybe she got. Maybe it's 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 an aspect of uh, what they have just, uh, you know, done on themselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's their pedicures. They they've gotten some new nails, but you just don't recognize it. But as a man, mm -hmm. you you know, where cocoa is just normal, yeah, 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 for some men. But we'll find out about that. Why is it that for many ladies they want to be complimented, but when you fail to do so, it becomes an issue? Isn't that also a sense of insecurity? Uh, I think women, uh, and I think I've said this here again, women we are driven by what we hear. That's right. That's why it's not a good Because, you know, you know, you you know, 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 you 
and I just meet my neighbor then like, oh, you're looking good this month. For example, uh, when I came in, mm. there's a guy who was, actually he was just behind me saying, hey, emo naka vizuri? Sayo naka different, maka sikuwa nakujua manze, kwa vini mefeel age. All right. So something has changed, you know. It brings that, 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 that ka little girl in you. Yeah. You know that ka little girl inside of you. Mm. Because all of us, we have that ka schanana niya. Okay, kataka kisa ka ka sbuka bebelezwe. You know, yeah. Even men, they have that ka boy inside of them that wants also to be pampered. You get? Mm. Actually, this goes two ways. So when like when I came, you were frowning. You like Ram. Me, I'm not used to you looking like smile. You mm. smile now. Look at how you're looking nice. You get. So I think it, uh, it's also a game of mind. How do you play with your with your with your mind? Now, because Emma, now, if uh, maybe I'm leaving my house mm. and my partner and I'm being a car vizuri, then I get to the office and I and meet with the with the soldier and I'm hey, madam, una car vizuri. Na ingenye kidogo na mita bossa. Hey, and you're looking good. It starts changing my mind. You know. Why is my husband? Why does my husband not tell is, me? There is something that you said, this? and I really want you to be clear on that. Yes. Because of when you help her, you said, I also, uh, uh, you said the same same thing, okay. that insecurity is a mental issue, yeah. and it is not normal. Uh, if a lady is insecure, mm -hmm. you don't tell her that she cooks well. Mm -hmm. You don't tell her that she looks good. Mm -hmm. You don't tell. You don't compliment anything. Does it mean that she is mentally unstable? I think insecurity comes in where, for example, when I, if I use his example, he has said mm. the wife really cooks good food, mm. but he has never seen the need of telling her verbally, Appreciate. like your food Appreciate. is nice. <clears throat> but through his action, like the way he enjoys the food, okay, when you're normal, you can tell that he's really enjoying the food. Mm. But I think the problem came in mm. now when he used that on another person. Mm -hmm. You get mm. like, hey, hey, okay. Mm. Una get. You've never a, my cooking. You have never, and I cook for you every day. This is just a once mm. meal that you have mm. eaten in your neighbor's house, and now you are already saying that it is good meal. <laughs> Mas okay, as a normal human being, I will also feel like, okay, is it that my food has not been this good to you? And you know, you are my husband, so I must be concerned. But so obviously, there's a, there's your so husband loves you, and, and this is a problem with most ladies here. You want to be told, uh, you, you want to be given those assurances every single day, yet you know that person loved you. There, is, there, there are vows that you exchanged, mm. there are those, uh, you know, compliments that you gave each other before you got into that marriage, and you mm. gave each other a assurances should you be given these assurances each and every day why is it that women want to be told that they are looking good just to satisfy that sense of okay insecurity? i think also this this is this one is also uh, on an individual level mm. there are people who who would want it every day there's a person maybe if we tell them every day they will be like Unataka nini. for example there is this <laughs> notion that actually if, if if your wife wakes up and tells you hey my husband today you are looking really nice mm. the first question me okay what do you want <laughs> you know there is that mentality it's, it's because yeah. they don't what, know what yeah because How they don't want, you, want? you know uh, uh, now you want? You need, <laughs> yeah. yeah what do you what do you want so what happens is i think you need to understand your partner yeah, yeah. you need to understand your, your your husband or your wife and also mm. maybe your boyfriend or your, or your girlfriend because Come on, be a come on, like you look beautiful. It doesn't even move them. For example, personally, it will not really move me because I know I am beautiful. I know it. Why can't men compliment their women? Why is it why is it hard? Because maybe that lady is insecure. Anona, maybe she's too fat. Maybe Anona, the camera labda, I'm in on a sun and attack a queer slim fit. Yeah, one, I want to be on the side of the ladies today. What wins a woman is not food. A woman? Yeah. It's not expensive jewelry that mm. you'll buy. It's not uh, buying a big car. Okay. The way you compliment, the way you talk to a woman. Oh, yes. Okay. You enter into a woman's heart. Even if you are sort of personal, you'll enter a woman's heart. <laughs> the way you address them. Now, coming back to my story, uh, I still stand by what I said, that it is not normal to be insecure. Because according to me, I knew everything was just okay. This woman is my woman. She knows I love her. Mm. She knows uh, I'm there for her. I'm providing. You know, that was according to my understanding. Mm -hmm. But now, lack of uh, appreciating her developed something in her. That's why I said it is 70% imagination and 30% what attacks your confidence. Mm. Mm. So what attacked her confidence in this uh, uh, is this time when I went to a friend's house who didn't even cook 
well, but because I wanted to like make them feel nice, because mm. I, I could see from their body language, the woman was like, did I really cook well? And the oh. chicken was done poorly. So because I'm a man of God and I wanted oh. to leave that house happy, <laughs> leaving them in a happy state. So I appreciate it. So you, you were trying so, to, to actually deal with that sense of insecurity of another person. Yeah, yeah. And develop and an I did, And I didn't know I was developing one in my I'm wife. <laughs> <laughs> so women need to be appreciated. And I think also men need to be appreciated. Uh, I, 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 my director is saying, uh, Timo and Asama, that there is uh, someone who has uh, dropped in a comment there and uh, we should read that. Uh, bring it up. Uh -huh. So, uh, this is... Uh, uh -huh. Anasama, Mark George Nyaosi. Anasama, I can't tolerate it. Anasama, I can't tolerate uh, insecurities. Yeah. Can't tolerate it. I have more important stuff to think and deal with, <laughs> not ways to appease her, or giving explanations whenever he, whenever her doubts arise. Sitaki stress. Where? We are going to ask Sira. Yeah. Wanaome wanasema hotaki stress. There is uh, that uh, Nini Apochini. That is uh, Sheruta Wechuli. And uh, he, he's watching. Now, I want to give you uh, evidence to, to talk about this. I can't tolerate it. I have more important stuff to do. Men are, do not tolerate stuff from their women. What do you think about that? One, that is pride. Exactly. Um, you pride know, or ego? <clears throat> that, that, that is pride, according to me. You know, somebody said that, uh, I agree with Miles Mundo, he said something that... Um, Every relationship is a union of two forgivers. Mm. What does this mean? It means I come with my weakness in that relationship. You mm -hmm. come with your weakness. I come with my strength. You come with your strength. We need to come to that level of uh, you know, engaging each other, accepting each other, tolerating each other, giving each other time to grow and overcome some of these things. When you say you can't tolerate... You're too busy you're too dealing with other, other things. I can tell you. Now, you're too busy for what? Because to me, my first priority is my woman. If I'm not too busy for her, mm. what will I be too busy for? Sure. How will you it's find my time? first priority. And, and, and even women say that. Women say, Sina time ya kufresha mwanaume. That's why I say this thing is very personal. Yeah. It is very personal, Ram. Hmm. It is the way you decide to to uh to treat your person it's the way you decide to treat your husband the way you decide to treat your your man or your partner in your how, life. how should women because i i think uh this one comes with um also you know let me let me tell you i cannot i cannot compare my my husband with him those are two different people mm. first from the background how, how they were raised there are men who are raised and the only thing that they know it, it is to abuse women the only thing they know is like i don't care and the question is, is get, that also a sense of security for those men? Yes, there is because, a reason why they abuse do you women. Know, I, I don't know, I don't know uh, who I was talking to yesterday and I was telling them, uh, there are people who have come up with some theories of marriage according to their own experiences. Hmm. For example, maybe our grandmothers when they were married, it was very rare to, to find divorce in their days. But by domestic violence was, like they used to be beaten. And actually they would believe, if I am not beaten, my husband does, does not love me. <laughs> today you pinch me. Hey, Gary, I wish I nakuru ni kondani. You pinch me today. Because times have changed. Yeah. You get. <laughs> and also, uh, men that those times believed, beating, like, I'm beating my wife and mm. she's still staying. Oh, so I've been doing the right thing. And those women said in marriages, because they were made to believe, if I beat you, you're supposed to stay in your husband's house. You'll go to your mother and she'll tell you, have you ever seen me leave your father's house? Go back to your husband's house. Vumilia. So I think, Vumilia. So they grew up knowing Vumilia is, a, is, a, is, is marriage. They knew, they grew up knowing Bwana Kupika Bibi is the marriage. But right now, we are living in a different dispensation of time. Today you beat me, Aki. Because I believe there's a better way to deal with whatever we are going through. You know, even in marriage, someone told me, I think uh, last year, someone told me, I know actually the last week someone told me like in their marriage there are issues that have taken them three years to solve them why they tell three themselves years. if we deal with this today we are going to hit each other we are going to separate so let's put it aside let us song a song a kidogo when we have the energy we'll come back to it and now such a couple they can live very long 
because they have not allowed each other to feel where, where you are you are the cause of problems in this relationship so mm. like when inferior that feel like i'm not enough mm. so when you start feeling that you are not enough for example if my husband makes me feel at home i am not enough i go out there another man start making me feel that, that i'm enough definitely i'll start being diverted to that man Th there is this aspect of ignorance or ignoring something is it advisable that you just don't solve all problems don't talk about every problem that arises because you know very well this problem is going to touch on my partner's sense of insecurity should you avoid talking about them now one uh i want to add something on what that brother commented about well what if you read that comment you'll also s discover sense of uh, insecurity yeah. which so again, our brother is insecure <laughs> yeah, I, I take it back to the ladies. Yes. Women, we are not uh, so good to be pushed to the wall. When you push us so hard, mm. then we come to a point of no return. You know, as the, the, woman, the, the, the men, we, men, men. Yeah. Okay. A woman you can beat, mm. even break her leg. She'll come back to you. You sit down and say, darling, please, I'm sorry. I can't imagine I've done this. She will forgive you. Oh, Jesus. And you'll start <laughs> life again. Well, like, you know, but when you push a man to the wall, uh -huh. that you are toxic, you are, you know, troublesome, you are negative. If, if you tell that this man those kind of all words. All those things, you, are, you want to really, you are too bothersome, you know. Mm. You can be too negative, you are so insecure that you don't appreciate anything. You don't even appreciate the efforts of this man mm. coming home and providing for the family. Some of them, you know, at times I had a friend of mine telling the wife that you don't know what I have to go through to put food on top of the table. What was that man really trying to say? Will you just one day appreciate me? Now, for... for now... Mm. Uh, if a man is pushed so bad, okay. mm -hmm. they might reach a point of no return. That is where our brother would be talking from. Where he will not tolerate Where he will anything. not tolerate. So, this is, so when you say a man is pushed, we are talking about when you keep on insulting him, you keep on telling him that uh, you're worthless, you cannot do anything, look at what the other men are doing, yeah. you're not, you're, you're not rising up to the occasion, you're not good in this or that. Put it even this way. Some of these things we put men and sometimes we put women in doing what they never intended to do. For example, this evening you come home very late. Maybe you are held up after some work, you are doing some business and you are held up and maybe the jam and you are arriving home late, unusual uh, to your normal timetable and arrival time. Eh? Mm. Then this car insecure lady who is not here actually, is saying, oh, so we malizana watu wako. Okay, so today you enjoyed. Mm. Now, this man was genuinely doing some business or running some errands to, at the end of the day, make ends meet. Coming home, then you develop an idea because of insecurity. You develop an idea that he was meeting some people. Uh, maybe alikuwa na enjoy pali. Mm. One, so you begin to push this man in that direction. You are trying to suggest to this man, this is what you should do. <laughs> and eventually, this man might end up doing what you are suggesting. And as I said earlier, David was not intending to take over from Saul. But Saul pushed him towards that direction. And actually, according to me, the, uh, Saul made David the king. Because you remember at one point when David came and uh, Goliath was there, and he removed all his uh, military attire, Mm. Gave to David and all uh, the, 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 the sign of authority gave to David. All these things were happening because the man was thinking something that David was not thinking. So sometimes when you think something negatively about my wife uh, coming home and you know, it's smelling nice, and so, I've never had, I've never felt that kind of perfume. Mm. Or, so who are you meeting today? I, I'm trying to make her think that she could be meeting some people in town. In other, in other words, yeah. the more you keep on accusing your partner of something, yes. they, the, 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 the higher the chances of them 
doing that which you accuse them of no, of doing exactly and that is what the devil will sell for them Emma, you... i think um i think uh, he has mentioned something very important saying uh, there's some, some that you keep on saying it happens mm. that's why i said like insecurity is a state of mind mm. a good example if today i wake up in the morning and i start thinking hey could this man be cheating on me so dev immediately there mm. is a sign that i've been sent to my brain yeah like this man is cheating on you so what will happen from that day henceforth mm. i will start having that mind so i'll start being very very uh, observant of every every small thing mm. for example he comes home late like, oh yeah i think now you're starting going to see that person mm. i have for example maybe someone calls you and just to excuse yourself hey he's even talking to that Can't person hi sometimes he'll come <laughs> that's the way he has said maybe he went to the office met with so many people he's now sm smelling a different perfume hey even his clothes are smelling a different perfume mm. so i uh, that 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 picture will call will, like i'll create it in my mind in my head in my head in my head and let me tell you the truth when you start creating something in the head by the that the brain is very powerful and mm. your mind is very powerful mm. the moment start creating something in your head imagine you, start, you can even start seeing them physically mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. that's the power of imagination mm -hmm. actually they say the, the the biggest nation it's your imagination because it can help you you can see everything so the moment you start seeing like this, this person is cheating on me i'm telling you, you start even seeing it with your own eyes that time even a text from his cousin hi dear they start disturbing you mm -hmm. why is his cousin calling him dear Mm. you get it's because this it has already been conceived mm. in your mind mm. so now you start now giving birth now to what you conceived now it starts now bringing some um miscommunications and also mi uh, misunderstandings now when now you reach to a point of having misunderstandings now you start arguing with your partner to a point where you know you want to argue to win no. but in marriage and in relationship you don't argue to win mm. you argue or you come to, you have a misunderstanding <clears throat> to come to a conclusion mm. but now anytime that you have that mindset of that uh, my partner is cheating on me or my partner is doing this and this and this you will always argue to win uh, in other words, okay <laughs> you're, you're, you're saying in marriage don't argue to win. to win argue to come to a conclusion argue to, to come conclude. to yeah, not to con actually to, to have to come up with a solution to come up with a solution but not to win well i, I want us to take a short break um after this break I, I want us to touch on yet one particular aspect when you have that close friend and your partner is not comfortable around that friend it's also an insecurity mm -hmm. yes we are saying it's an imagination but yes, yes you keep sir. talking to that friend mm -hmm. you chat you text you visit each other mm -hmm. they know your family you know their family mm -hmm. technically you're so close that your partner doesn't like it yeah is it a problem is it a cause of worry the hashtag is power talk show on twitter at ramaguko at y254 channel keep testing and keep tweeting ensure that you also head over to our facebook page on y254 and drop in your comments i'm seeing so many comments we shall sample them up as we continue with this conversation it's all about insecurities how do you deal with an insecure partner is it a mental issue or is it just in their mind let's take that break we'll be back in a bit this is power talk Y254 Imagine as always it is a pleasure being with you thank you for keeping it power talk this is uh, where we are talking about insecurities in relationships i'm seeing so many feedbacks that are coming from our viewers uh, my director will be uh, you know putting them up on our screens we shall sample them up as we continue with this conversation it's all about dealing with an insecure partner what are signs of insecurities what are some of the uh, uh, solutions towards handling an insecure partner before we went on a break you uh, 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 we uh, I, I mentioned that uh, we shall touch on um, on dealing with uh, an insecure partner in terms of uh, what exactly was that yes. yeah friends uh, people who are close to you they call you they text you every day you know the ladies call them bffs uh, and they're, they're, they're the opposite sex mm -hmm. they can even go to parties going for sleepovers together is it right ever It determines or uh, it affects how you relate with the people. Mm -hmm. It affects how you talk to people. It affects how you see people. It affects how you also live. 
for example, you have a friend or I have a friend and uh, my wife is insecure about this friend. One, what I need to ask myself is that uh, where is this coming from? What is the root cause of this? Could it be because of uh, her past? Because maybe somebody grew up in a family where uh, such kind of cases were there. The father or the mother was cheating on or, or any of them. And uh, that was the norm of life. Mm. Then this girl, this man grows up in this family knowing there's something called cheating. There's something called, uh, people cannot just be friends for friends. There must be something behind it. So this lady or this man growing with this kind of stigma in him or in her. Coming to a relationship or coming to marriage, if this thing is not solved or squared in him or in her, it begins to affect how he's going to relate with his partner, more so his partner's friends. Mm. Is he going to see that maybe what my mom or what my dad was doing could be exactly what my this partner is doing, is doing with his friends? Mm. So I, I see it also coming from the way we were abroad. It comes from past experiences. But now, me, if you ask me how I should deal with this person, number one, I should understand what is the root cause of this problem. Number two, I should be open enough, very open enough in my relationship with my friends to really kill any doubt and clear the air mm. that I'm dealing with these friends as friends, not any other thing. Now that you're saying, yeah. before or uh, during a relationship or uh, okay before you really d dwell deeper with someone mm -hmm. know their background yes yes uh, but now if you realize that because of their background they have a sense of insecurity because of their past mm -hmm. they have some sense of insecurity mm -hmm. should you continue even in the line of dating before you even marry them well you can continue one you need to help them because i believe when two people come together there must be a purpose a reason bringing these two people together you cannot just drop somebody off the line simply because you realize that uh, her mother was not stable in her marriage. You cannot just drop somebody because you realize the father was not at home. Mm. Number one, understand the root cause. Number two, be compassionate. Handle these people with dignity. What if they feel like you're having, you're handling them with the kids' gloves, you know, or that they, it's too much pity? Yeah. Uh, they, what are, what, they, they'll get even offended that uh, you are pitying them. No, no. Uh, people who are going through this thing, number one, what they also lack is a sense of love. They feel they're not loved. Normally, people who are going through insecurity, their biggest problem, number one, number one they feel they're not loved. Okay. So they need to be handled with love and dignity. Let me come to you, Emma. That partic uh, particular aspect of friends. Uh, uh, I know this, <laughs> it, had, it affected you at some point mm -hmm. in the past because of the story that uh, you gave earlier. Mm -hmm. um, when you feel insecure about the friends your partner has, how should you handle it? Okay, uh, I think it is... Um as an individual, we all have our friends. And uh, they say, if you want to be an ego, you stop hanging around chicken. And again, being married does not again mean that you throw away your single friends. That's right. But you need to look at friends. What, uh, like for example, I need to ask myself a question. Anytime I meet with Ram, anytime I meet with you, what do I grow or what happens to me? Mm. Like if I talk to you for five minutes, does it really change my life or what, what does that affect me? I'll give an example. I, I, I used to have a friend. In the, okay, she's still my friend, but I kept my distance. Because I realized this friend, every time we would meet, she would really lie to me. Like she would lie, lie, lie. I went to this country. I just came back from Nigeria. I just came back from South Africa. <laughs> uh, and so, I, I think we all have you know, such, such yeah. kind of friends. So, who talk what, big. No, so what used to happen to me, anytime I would meet with her, um. I would start feeling like, why am I not having this kind of a life? Mm -hmm. 
then by the no, by the time that I, I came to know like she was lying to me I was like how stupid could I have been how, how thinking know? about all this you <laughs> get you so uh, I so after after sitting myself down I realized she was affecting me nev- negatively uh-huh. you know she was making me feel like I am not important hey why why can't I go to this country why can't I do this and this and this but again I have another friend who mm. we have been friends for for I think seven this is I think almost our eighth year and I think every time that I I am I am down spiritually, I am down emotionally. Most of the time, I will run to her because I know anytime I'm with her, yeah. my I, I, I like I will feel alive. So again. in other words, just look you at know. how you feel so now, when you are with them. Now look at your friends. Actually, they say show me your friends and I can tell the, the type of a person you are. Person, yeah. So you if, cannot tell me if they that make you feel good, if they make a better, if not even make you feel good. What do you help each other with? Because I believe friendship is a two-way thing. Mm-hmm. We benefit from each other. Mm-hmm. I help you, you help me. Are we growing each other or are we killing each other? Because I believe if we, we are good friends, we will always build each other. Now, when you get into a relationship, that's now where you need to be very careful with the friends that you have. I'll give you an example of the same same friend. So there was this boy, this guy who was catering me. And now I was just talking so I just said you know the way you talk as friends. Mm. I told I told the friend and I told her hey, we, 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 the, the one who talks big that mm. yes, 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 where, yes yes. Yeah. So I told so as we were just talking there so just how we are friends and we are young we are single. Mm. I told her hey lakini mm. akona umuranga mob. Mm. That's what I said. Oh, um, you know, oh. yeah, kona <laughs> umuranga mob. So, <laughs> me, I, I was just talking to my friend. Now it happened. Ni kama vile vile someone can say huyu akona ujalo mingi. Eh, akona ujalo mingi. So me said umuranga mingi. So now it happened that guy called me when I was in her house. Mm. So I'm talking to this guy. Do you know what she did? Mm. Alisha to come background. Ati. Acha na yema alisema kona umuranga mingi. And do you know that was the end of me and that guy. The guy was like, "Oh, so that's what you talk behind my back to your friends." You get So from that day I learned my lesson the hard way and I mm. said you know what the next time I'm not going to do this. So and then again when I started dating it changed everything. Because maybe the, the the time that I used to go for sleepovers I don't know for what for what now now I have someone that I'm committed to. So now I have to change my lifestyle. But the thing and is as you continue when, when your reduce, partner when when your partner doesn't like the friends you keep that partner has an insecurity. No, Is there must correct? be a solution. Uh, there must be, be a reason why. There must be a reason. Yeah, because you talk too much, you're cl- too close. What if you j- just no, don't like okay, it? Okay, so, there's okay, there those friends who want to, for example, if I'm in a relationship, they want to be part of my relationship. They want to give ideas. Oh, I have known this person for this number of time. You just met her the other day. I know she likes this. Hey, Emma likes this. Emma likes this. She Your doesn't like this. doesn't like it. So, of course, even me, I will not like that. For example, even him, maybe he has friends who are trying to interfere with our relationship also I would not want that so I would I'm not telling you to keep off your friends but I think it's just upon you to choose who benefits your relationship uh, or rather who is supposed to be in your relationship or who is not supposed to be because even family don't even talk about friends even family sometimes their family who will come into your relationship or into your marriage and just destroy everything so you need to be very careful who you relate with and do, what you talk do about do you have those people that your partner is close to and uh, you just don't like that they're close And then you're like ah who you he, he said that you cut off the mm. friendship or tutakosana some people get, get to that level well yeah. those people are there some of them are people who are toxic to my partner they are giving my partner headache for no reason <laughs> i will not like them they are giving up pressure for no reason i will not mm. like them i know you love sister so and so but it's not helping you because any time you talk we are like arguing yeah. so every time they go for a visit when they visit them last when he comes uh, back he's not in mood mm-hmm. even when you greet he's greeting you like uh uh wewe ndio ulimkosea yet ametoa shida kule nje so i will not really tolerate such kind of people but now i think uh, looking at uh, also from this perspective before you start a relationship number one have time to know each other know this person very well what type of a woman she is what type of a man she is mm-hmm. like me i'm this person who talks so good with everybody i don't know how to really define that uh, i'm exactly. that outgoing person you know extrovert or yeah somebody who just loves everybody mm. understand who this person is number two, come to a level where you introduce yourself to your friends Mm-hmm. 
let your partner know who are your close friends. Okay. That mm. whatever comes, you cannot really part ways. Who are these people? Who are these people who inspire your life? Never communicate. Let your partner know mm. yes. who you are and what you are and the Introduce things you do. Introduce your partner to your friends. Don't surprise your partner on your wedding day that you know this is my buddy. And you give him such a very hot hug in front of me. <laughs> and I didn't know this guy <laughs> before. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so introduce your friend, I mean your partner to all your friends. Then yeah. this will build confidence mm. in your partner when these friends are coming home, when these friends are calling. But again, after marriage or when you are now committed in a very serious relationship, mm. make your friends know now their boundary. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If Tell they used now I'm married. Yes. Mm. If they used to really come to your house like every day, they need to know that you need some privacy, Bwana. Sometimes you can just be in your Kenya's, your husband in your in his Kenya's, and you are also in your pajama. They're just running around hide and seek and jamana uh, pika odi. Odi apa? You are destroying our moment. Mm. Mm. Number two, let them know at what time now they should be calling you. They used to be called like even late hours you're discussing. Oh, we will call a party, you know, village jamal cool cake. Hey But now make them understand that you know from this time you cannot call me now. I'm and with my is, husband. I'm with it, my husband. It doesn't mean that a grudge needs no, to no, come no, out no. from Actually, that conversation. No, no, no. Actually, it's a different season. You know, yeah. we have seasons in yeah. life. We yeah. have seasons. For example, my best friend is getting married next week. Mm. And yes, I, the other day, I told her, hey, please come for a sleepover this week so that you can sleep over for the last time before you get married. <laughs> you know? You know? But now, but, but now I need to understand that yes. now, after now marriage, mm. uh, now, now, now that's it. Yeah. You know, now I, I don't I, expect I, her to come I, and I sleep in my house. I want to touch on something else. Okay. Yeah. We've, we've not touched on arguments mm -hmm. now you're with your partner and you're fighting ah <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, i didn't even like how you your body is mm -hmm. you're not even beautiful mm -hmm. i don't even like how your hair is mm -hmm. i don't like how you, you you do your makeup that is if if, if it's a man t talking about the woman if it's a woman Mm -hmm. Ah, you're not even a, you're not even man enough. Mm -hmm. Some some will say you're not even good in reading mm -hmm. the constitution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You're not even good in. Uh, uh, you, you don't even provide money. Yeah. You don't pay my school fees. Mm -hmm. You're not even man enough. Some mm -hmm. uh, other men are uh, buying Ooh. things, buying land in Roy. Mm -hmm. You're not even good Kamul. enough. <laughs> They'll compare you with other men. They, they will tell you they don't like your they don't like your height. They don't like your voice. Mm -hmm. Huh? You are a nuisance. They I've been tolerating you for all this time. In arguments, how can you avoid mixing issues, bringing up insecurities, and breaking up your own um, marriage in the process? Well, you know, ma. You know, let me tell you, um, as I said earlier, mm. you do not argue to win. But that is what most of us do. We argue to win. Even if you feel like you're right. You yeah. <laughs> you know, we, yeah. Another thing is that... Um, in a relationship or in marriage, mm. okay, if, no, okay, before I get there, we as human beings, if you want to know the truth of how I feel about you, yeah. you know when you're Apple. angry, the Apple, Apple, you when say the the truth. Because when you're in that state, now when, like when you're angry now is when you bring out everything that was inside So, of so you. there is no, this no, excuse no. that I said it out of anger, no, no, I no, no, no. sorry, it it's, has, not an, it's not No, an, it has been there. You are just looking for an opportunity to bring it out. You believe Correct so. me if I'm wrong. Mm. Me, that's what I believe in. Okay. When you're angry is when you say everything. Is when you, you and everything that you... you that was stored uh, inside. Yeah, everything. And you come and store. Mm. Now you bring it out. Mm. But now this is what um, I would say about when you're arguing with someone. Do not argue to win. Another thing, when you, when you know you want to argue with... Actually, this one, this one I, learned, I learned the hard way. If you're arguing with your partner... You are in control of how you want that argument to end. That's right. It is use emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. You are in control of how you want it to argue. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Kitambo, when I started dating that early last year, I kid to go and argue five hours. Now still, but on the other hand, make a not just the other day. I just told myself we can have a misunderstanding, and still at the end of the conversation, we can still smile mm -hmm. and laugh. 
and tell each other we love I love you have a good night let's continue tomorrow why mm. you need to apply emotional intelligence at the end of the day the solution is in your hands mm -hmm. the both of you mm -hmm. no matter how much we argue no matter how many hours we argue at the end of the day the solution is with us now we are in control for mm. example when you're driving ram and we are like 10 drivers on the road you are the one to control your car i'm, on the, one, I'm, I'm on the yeah. steering for mm. example when we, when we get at globe roundabout you cannot take the group around about, then you enter town and you know you're supposed to now, come here. I have an issue with that particular perspective. Whereby, the, you've said you're the one who's in control of uh, uh, the argument. Yes. But the man will say, I am the head of this house. Yes, you're the I, head. I, I am the one who controls this. Are you now saying that you, you, you have to be the head over the man? Okay, now, I'm not saying about being the head. It's yeah. okay. We are arguing. And you have come with the perspective of, I am the head. Yeah. You know what I will do? I will let you do it as your as the head. And then as an intelligent woman, I will agree with you. It's okay, babe. Is that what you think as the head of the or, or, as the head of this house? I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm, it's I'm, fine. I'm, I'm. After I have agreed with you, I'll wait the time that you'll come down. Then I'll tell you by the babe, by the actually I'd say it's laughing. Like in the comment will try or a comment here. What, what, because what again, if, what if that again, brings no, about no, no. to another no. argument? <laughs> again, you don't want to breathe the man's ego. Yeah. You know, you, again, you don't want to breathe like his okay, ego. Okay, so I want us to, to, to go to Facebook, uh, and then I'll come to you for for uh, to to give your your thoughts. Uh, someone dropped in a comment there uh, on Facebook. Where? Uh huh. Hey, this is an interesting, interesting conversation today. Where? <laughs> Janet. Anasema, in case of insecurities in a relationship, it is good to talk to your partner and reason together. Make them understand that it's them you choose. Make them understand that it is them you choose. Now, let me start with uh, what uh, uh, Emma was bringing. In every relationship, whenever any argument comes up, the day you will feel like proving that you are right, you lose it. Mm. It's either you want to be right or you want to be happy. Mm -hmm. They normally say that uh, in most debates, it's only the women always win. <laughs> yeah, th there's a uh, talk uh, which somehow, there's a philosophy which I agree with. When you're arguing, at the end of the day, make a woman win. Mm. I... Uh, somehow, it helps them. More so when somebody is too deep in insecurity. But let me put it this way. The moment you want to win an argument and remain right and your wife is wrong, mm. you don't just lose yourself, but you lose everybody or everything. Even the whole marriage. Yeah. It ends. In marriage, we don't talk to win. Mm. In marriage, we don't have a conversation to be right. In marriage, we have a conversation to help one another or each other. We have a conversation to build each other. Now, what happens in the process of having this particular conversation mm. and people end up saying things that they regret? People say things that end up hurting your feelings, even bruising you as a man, until you, until you wonder. Because they say, Ulisama hii, uyu ni yule ambaye ni liyoa. Is this the man that I married? Is, it, is this the woman that I married? That comes when somebody wants to win. You know, when you are so obsessed in winning an argument, you will try to do whatever it takes to win it, even when it means hurting your partner. Mm. So long as I win the argument. But when you understand that after winning argument, you are going to lose your partner, then you bring this conversation in a way that at the end of it all, it is a win-win situation. I win, he wins. I win, she wins. How do you ensure that happens? Is it even possible that, that, that everyone wins an argument? It's possible. It's possible. Actually, I have mastered, I, I have mastered something and uh, I no longer see um, those like as arguments, misunderstanding or issues mm. in a relationship. I call them a topic of discussion. <laughs> so actually, and by the actually, it has really helped me as a I person. I love that. Because you call it the, the topic of put, discussion. Yeah, because the moment you put it as, as, as an issue, mm -hmm. uh, it will become an issue. You know, mm -hmm. if you put it as a misunderstanding, it become, but now if you address it as a topic of okay, like babe, let's talk about this. So 
Uh, and then sometimes they, they will even ask you a hard question. Do you think I've been this person? Mm. May I tell him, yes, I think you have been that person. Mm -hmm. Even if it and then, them. Let me tell you, if you're humble enough as a man, you will always go, uh, okay, you might not say yes to a woman, like, oh, yeah, by that point, you're right. Mm. But when you were inside, you will just go and tell yourself. For example, I used to be very stubborn in relationships. Aki, and Josh can tell you, because I have mentality, Mimi ni melelo wa kiviangu. You know, I have been my own boss. So, this, this is what I want you to Miss do. Miss Independence. I have been there, you know, paying my bills, doing my own things. So, na niambia nini, you get. Na kambia iki kitu ni sumbua for months. Before and I could just agree like now. And there, there are many women who, are, know, who yeah. have the same, same perspective. Actually, uh, honestly, it was a problem with me. Because I would feel every time, why are you telling me to do this? Me, I want to do How did you manage it? How did you so get what, out of it? So, what that? happened, as time went by, I started telling myself, Emma, now, it's no longer about you. Mm. I stopped using that term, me. I stopped using myself. I stopped using I. Now it is we. For example, any decision I make, the first thing I ask myself, how is it going to affect Josh? Mm -hmm. If yeah. I want to go to this place, if I want to, go, to hang with these friends, if I want to use money like this, mm -hmm. how is it affecting him? Mm -hmm. So the moment it becomes we, it mm -hmm. changes the whole narrative. Yeah. Now, um, in the process of, of uh, fighting, mm -hmm. uh, how sh should partners... Uh, handle the situation control themselves and withhold themselves from saying things that could be helpful uh, to their uh, to their uh, you know important other now before even we get to fighting mm. or uh, before it gets to that level of violence one i go back to what emma said when you are listening to your partner don't listen to answer or to challenge because exactly. Listen to understand. Huh? Listen to understand. Yes. And because that's where most people get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you listen to your partner to challenge it, mm -hmm. you are triggering violence. Because like a man, they are easily provoked. If he's trying to bring a point that, darling, you know, you said this thing in the morning and I didn't feel so good. That is not a good way how wise women should talk. And you know, some of them will oh, I know, I'm a fool. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. And so she was listening to challenge, but not to understand. Anytime a healthy conversation of, a, of partners or mm -hmm. in a, a good, healthy relationship, whenever your partner is raising a point, listen, listen. to understand. And uh, please appreciate their views. When he tells you that, darling, you know, in the morning, you didn't talk to me so well. You are so rude. Please, before you challenge that, even when they are wrong, please appreciate that they are concerned. I want to, I, I want to ask you as yes. a man. Yes. Your partner, um, so, uh, let's say one day you get into an argument mm -hmm. and then she mentions something that is that you're struggling with. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that? One, you feel so bad. Like, for example, uh, at one point you might find that your partner mm -hmm. fell in a problem. For example, at some point, he cheated, mm. and you found that, you know, he's cheating. You'll be hurting that man or that woman forever when you want to remind him of what he or she did. Mm. You are not helping. You are only putting, adding more salt in already bleeding wound. So I'll feel bad. But now, if you want to protect that marriage, face it as a, a constructive information. Mm. Accept it in a positive way that, yes, this is the truth, I have to face it. And what if it, uh, you're not yet married, you're still in the dating process, and then you get into an argument, and then someone, your significant other, mentions something that you are struggling with and that ends up hurting you? One, uh, what you need to understand when we are coming together, we are building each other. So maybe God is using her or using him to help me know who I am. To me, any negative feedback coming, sometimes I take it as a, something that is coming to help me. Now, I used to say this thing which some people didn't agree with, that, you know, in a church, it is good to some, have uh, this women, 
in a church yeah it is good to have them <laughs> because they gauge how you deal with some things okay. when you greet uh, emma and you're like ah oh, praise the lord how are you ah oh. mm -hmm. and you are still holding a hand and they will say hey uliona uliona mm -hmm. now they are all i'm telling you that yes you're doing a good thing but maybe you're overdoing it mm -hmm. Okay. So, when these negative things that attack your confidence come, ask yourself one question. Is it true or false? And if it is true, take it as something that is helping you to develop and overcome that situation or overcome that challenge. I want to give you also a chance to answer the same, same question. Mm. You are in an argument. He mentioned something that you're struggling with. It obviously doesn't suit well with you. How do you handle it? In the case where you're married and the case where you're not yet married, you're planning to get into marriage. Uh, okay, I think, I mean, that, uh, that's the last one, planning to get married. And um, I think uh, I can confidently say it has really helped me as a person. Mm. Because sometimes uh, he would tell me something, he would like, okay, it's in Zako. Okay, that's that yours. It's not a must, I do what you said. But if I do that mistake again and again and again, definitely it is hurting him. Mm -hmm. And if he's hurt, I'm also hurt. So I tell myself, okay, wh why have you been doing this? You feel like this, if I go with this in my marriage, it will not work. Mm -hmm. So I have to drop it. I'm not saying it is good to keep on reminding your, your, your partner on their weaknesses. But also, if you're, a, if you're mature enough, you'll mm -hmm. take correction mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. because I believe some of us, if we were not caned by our mothers, we would not be here. Mm -hmm. So we, you need to take the correction well. But again, you as, as the other person, how are you saying it? Mm -hmm. You get how... So you look are you for saying a nice it way. to a kiss? Bring, uh, bring me a toothbrush and tell mm -hmm. me, babe, it would mm -hmm. be nice if you use this toothbrush mm -hmm. and this toothpaste. Mm -hmm. As a wise person, I know what you are telling me. Yeah. But don't come, you know, like just dumping it on my face, like mm -hmm. you need to do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Always find the right language actually i believe every ma marriage has its own language mm. there is something that my partner can tell me i laugh about it mm. i tell the other person they get angry about it so i believe it's the way you 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 talk to your partner they, it's the way you address it uh there's a question here on, on online and uh, this is steve steve and Lisa. uh what if you realize your partner has issues with her body how do you deal with them okay body as in physically or Maybe, well, uh, I don't know. Steve, would, uh, you, you'll clarify that, whether it's physically. But uh, let's give in different perspectives. Maybe in their health or they have, you know, that, that's your weight. Mm -hmm. It is an issue for, for many people. And it's affecting her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you handle it? Uh, I think it's coming from, I, I know women, we are the ones that are really affected by mm -hmm. physical. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think... Um, for example, if I'm physically okay, like the way I am as Emma, but maybe I have another uh, health challenge, mm. I think it will be so, it will be, um, how do I say it? I, I, I will not be selfish not to tell my partner. For example, we have seen issues where a woman knows, knows that she cannot conceive, mm. but she, she goes ahead and gets married without telling the partner, so which brings some other trouble in marriage. Also men, there are also men who cannot conceive, but they, they don't tell the partner. But I believe mm. if you love someone and if you genuinely love someone, yeah. you will always open up to them and let them love you for who you are. Uh -huh. Let me come to you. You, you, your, your reaction to that question. How do you do the, a, a partner who has an issue with their body? But let, let's give an example. Maybe your, your, your wife feels as though mm. maybe they are not uh, they, they don't have that figure eight or something like that make understand that yes you're within ten, ten, 30 seconds yes make understand that you're part of that mm. let her know that you appreciate her and you are happy with her that way the way she is yeah and mm. she if she is should want to go to this life for i mean uh, gym and all those things and you know body exercise mm. please be part of that encourage her to go that line go with her go with her I, 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 support I, her i want us to 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 finish the uh, wrap this conversation my director is telling me that uh, time is not on our side so i want us to wrap it up mm -hmm. 30 seconds each tell us uh, uh speak to the viewers outside there how do you deal with an insecure partner just wrap it up in a very good note our take home for the day jerry starting with you 30 seconds okay what i'll say is that uh as a person as, a, as an individual doubt those doubts when you're doubting your partner doubt that doubt again 
uh, look at the uh, at the root cause of your doubts. Where are you getting? Is it from friends? Is it from well, okay? Where, where are all these triggers coming from? And also deal with it with a lot of wisdom. Don't go just punching someone. Don't go you know throwing words at someone. Just deal with that person with a lot of wisdom and in a very mature way. Mm -hmm. Evans. Life is uh, ten percent what happens to you and ninety percent how you react to it. Accept who you are, believe in yourself, appreciate who you are. And sometimes don't just be focused on what is what you think is missing in you. Also be concerned about what you contribute in other people's life. And when you meet these people, handle them with love, accept them, handle them with dignity. Above all, know that Jesus Christ loves you the way you are. And that's the call every day. Come unto me, all. All meaning all people coming from all types of work. Accept that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. That is Reverend Evans Kocho and uh, uh, Emma and Jerry joining us in this particular conversation on dealing with insecurities. Fin my, my final word, I would like to end with a quote as always. Sometimes our thoughts are backed by so much insecurity that they create lies we believe. Relationships fail when people take their own insecurities and project them as their partner's flaws. Think about that. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Maguko. This has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure being with you from the beginning till the end. I was with Evans Kocho and Emma. So thank, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having uh, us. I want to thank everyone who ensured this show was a success. Like in a teamwork, in a Ron, everyone, Miriam. May God bless you guys. We have come to the end of this show. A repeat of this program comes again tonight at 10 p.m. To our fans and our viewers, may God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk.